Hello there, Sir William Monocle here with Path of Exile. Uh, this is a soon-to-be free-to-play uh, point-and-click action RPG in the style of Diablo 2 um, and Torchlight 2 and Diablo 3 and you know Titan Quest, all those other kinds of games. A genre which, although I enjoy very much, I'm rather new to, and um, I am uh, just want to show you guys some of this game. Uh, here you can see I haven't played it too, too much, and I've been jumping around between classes a lot, but I'm going to create a new character. Uh, I'm going to, well. I fought, wept, and bled for God and the Order. I would have died for my Templar brothers, every single one. And how do they reward my piety, my devotion? They exile me to the land of the damned, to Rayclast. I know now that my brethren are merely God's tools. He has given me this path to walk, so I shall muster my strength and my power, and my faith. It is my shield against the darkness to come. And I'm going to choose the Templar for this uh, playthrough because he is the hybrid strength intelligence class and uh, that'll give me a chance to show off the melee combat and the casting uh, which is some two things that I enjoy here is the intelligence right class the back off back off which oh my goodness my here he comes here's the strength class and here is the dexterity class. Here is hybrid strength dexterity. Was I supposed to bear such insults with an action simply because And here is hybrid dexterity intelligence. Uh, so if you want to see all the other classes, uh, Shadow is personally my favorite. Every single one. Okay. And how do I'll, uh, I guess I'll wait till he's done talking. My devotion. Again. They exile me to the land of the damned, to Rayclast. I know now that my brethren are merely God's tools. He has given me this path to walk, so I shall muster my strength and my power, and my faith. It is my shield against the darkness to come. Well, um, if you want to see other uh, the other classes. Uh, see how they play generally you can go to oh or for more information on the game you can go to path of exile uh, com the website on the sidebar it has basically a ticker of anyone for God and the okay of anyone streaming the game uh, you can just click on that it'll show you the other streams and there's a helpful forum and lots of uh, they they update the news very regularly um, and all right here we are with polycarp half-baked and if any of you get that then I am very proud if not I'll tell the story when I run out of other things to talk about as you can see we've been dumped on the beach here exiled from our homeland let's talk to this dying exile the voice acting in this game is quite good. Unfortunately, the Dying Exile doesn't have voice acting, so I'll have to do it. You and I were the only ones that made it. Not counting my quiet friend here. Why didn't they just bloody execute us back in Oria? This little splinter sticking out of me. That one. Oh, missed all the important bits. Thought I saw smoke at those ruins just up the beach. Give me some help. Ah! I'm not a voice actor. Even All right, so we've, no solace in this we've killed land. our first zombie. His head is half off. Now let's get Glacial Hammer. Hooray! So, as you can see, uh, if you're not familiar with this game, I'm, I'm not going to do too much explainy stuff, but uh, skills are based on these gems that you can socket into your weapons. Um, and the... the when you level up, you get to put points on this passive skill tree, and it looks really scary. Um, but, you know, each class is a starting point on the skill tree, so, you know, 
I can worry about just this area, or I can spread out, and it's really very versatile and a, a unique system. So, here we go, off down the beach, starting our epic adventure. If I can find some monsters, I will attack them. Here they are. So, uh, I was talking about the classes before. Basically, um, if you're not familiar with this kind of game, this kind of RPG, uh, strength generally is going to be your uh, melee combat type stuff. Oh my goodness. It's going to be your melee combat type stuff. Um, intelligence is going to be casting and critical damage. Dexterity, attack speed, movement speed, dodging attacks. Um, and so, the Marauder, which is the strength class, plays very tanky and melee based. The Witch, very casting based and critical damage. The, um, the Ranger, obviously, based a lot on hit and run, attack speed, uh, movement speed, that kind of thing. And obviously, as you'd expect, the hybrid classes play as a hybrid. Um, so the shadow is based on movement speed, dodging, casting, critical hits. You know, it's as you'd expect. And uh, the, the best thing to come into this game, it's good, you know, like maybe for your first playthrough to think of them as more strictly uh, as classes. Come back here. But, kind of as you progress, you, you notice that the class system isn't really a class system at all. It's, it's more broad than that. Uh, it's something more special and unique than that. Those, uh, the classes really are just starting places on the web. You could build, you know, uh, a magic-based marauder if you wanted. He might not be very effective, uh, but you could do it. And with enough, you know, passive skill tree points, you can reach just about any skill from any place uh, on the tree. And it's that kind of versatility that makes this game so unique. And obviously, if they're going to be that versatile, they're not going to limit you um, by weapon. So a uh, Templar can use a bow or a wand. A uh, ranger could use a broad axe. It would seem my god has no need for my company just yet. It's, it's very versatile. You can do pretty much anything you want. And the reason I haven't been using my uh, active skill that's bound to my right click is because these uh, enemies, the undead specifically, are cold resistant and my current attack is Glacial Hammer, so uh, perhaps not. Oh yeah, well I should go ahead and add a point since, there's a, since I have a momentary respite. And I'm going to go for mana stuff, um, because I'm planning on this build being a melee necromancer. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, just because necromancy in this game is really fun, and so is melee, combining the two. And although it may... Oh, another Glacial Hammer. I would have been happier with a different skill, but you know. Uh, and here I can... You level up your skills as you gain experience. Um, so, yeah, I think a, a holy... Oh, here's our first kind of boss mob. Holy Necromancer may seem a tad strange, but, you know... Maybe that's why he was exiled from his order. I'm just kind of tanking this guy, as you can see. 
because I have plenty of health potions. And uh, if you look at the bottom left corner, you can see my health vials. Um, they recharge as you kill enemies. Uh, so you don't have to, you know, buy health potions. You just have to kill a lot of stuff, and uh, your your health and mana will recharge that way. Now, time to go into Lion Eyes Watch, which is the first the the town of Act One, and um, I think for this for the sake of this video. Oh, frames. I'm going to let all the voice acting play out because I do think it real it is quite good for a free to play indie game. And just for a game in general, it's 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 good. I like it. They're all from New Zealand, uh, which I can't imagine why that would bother you, although I have seen people mention it in the chat uh, that it bothered them. But Welcome here we to go. Our home away from home. For what it's worth. I'm Nessa. That future giant you just laid to rest? That was Hillock. You're lucky. He's eaten stronger exiles than you. Don't count on that luck lasting. It's in short supply here in Rayclast. Still, you've rid us of a curse, and we owe you our thanks. Lionel's watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wreck. There must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Alright, so, as you can see, there's a lot of players here. Mm -hmm. um, because this is actually kind of an MMO. <gasps> MMO? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, you can... Basically, everyone in your... Uh, realm is with you in the town and if you join a party with any of these people you can uh, go out into the randomly generated instances together and kill stuff basically um, so that's cool I normally don't those eyes party up but best count you as a friend. it's an option I wouldn't last long as a foe <laughs> the name's Bestel Captain of the good ship, Mary Go, swift and pretty she was. Nothing like the High Templar's rubbish scout that brought you here. Alas, the Mary Go is gone. My crew is gone, but my wits remain. After a fashion. <laughs> There's an island, a hop, skip, and a wade offshore of the terraces. That's where my Mary Go ran aground. Watch the locals spit roast the ship's doctor, but <gasps> spit roast. his medicine chest might still be there amongst the splinters and bones. It'd have everything Nessa might need. Doctor Shaky Hands Optin was lousy with a scalpel, and even worse with a saw. But he knew his apothecary. <laughs> Explains the Shaky Hands, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, and just to introduce the voice acting and the characters, I'm gonna let their first message play, but after that, I'll I'll just summarize what they said because this work is with taking a Where'd while. you learn to fight like that? No, don't tell me. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us the moment his black guards dumped us in the water out there. It's just live or die now. Here, have one of these, and no need to thank me. I'm thinking of myself and the others here. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Now I get another skill gem. Ah, uh, none of the ones I particularly wanted. I was hoping for raise zombie or something, but I'll have to uh, select that later. So I don't want ground slam. So either ice nova or spark. I think I'm going to go with Ice Nova since freezing is actually quite powerful in this game. So I just equip my uh, skill gem and now I have Ice Nova. Alright, so inventory. Let's 
I'm gonna go stash some stuff. And as you can see, the stash is a shared stash, shared with all my other characters. But I keep I keep all the items separate. Um, and the stuff in the middle is the shared stuff that I'm not really gonna uh, get into. So I'll just put my Templar stuff back here. And maybe, just maybe, I'll take, uh, you know, one of these skill gems if I can't find a, a good one. Because I, I kind of want to move away from the mace I have a little bit. Maybe go with axes, because axes are fun. Um, unfortunately, and this is something My that I... nightmares, they were prophecy. Indeed. This is something that I might change. The Both of the melee classes, well, I say both, really, there are four melee classes. Both the kind of, uh, well, I'm having to eat my words here a little bit. The Templar and Marauder both start with clubs, and it's like, I mean, I don't know. The duelist starts, well, they, they start with a club and a club-based skill. The duelist starts with sword and sword-based skill. The shadow starts with dagger and blade-based skill. I don't know, maybe I'd want to see the marauder start with axes, something. Uh, just to keep it a little bit varied, I guess. So that we don't have, you know, everyone starting with clubs. But. It's a very minor <laughs> issue I have. I just, I like, I like axes on principle. Maybe it's from... Dwarves, because I like Lord of the Rings and dwarves and stuff. I don't know, I like axes on principle, and uh, none of the classes in this game are kind of inherently axe-based. You have to go through... Like I said, nothing's limited, but when you start with a skill that... You're... You, especially when, at least in the early game, you, you tend to only get skills... Uh, for completing quests, you get a skill gem. You don't find them very often uh, when you're low level. When you're high level, you find them all the time. But uh, So it's kind of like, well, I'm not going to get another skill for a while. And I have this hammer skill, or club skill, or two-handed weapon skill. So I'm probably going to stick with that. You know, because that's more efficient. I'll have a good skill and I just need to stick with this weapon. Um, and that that's fine. That's a good system. I just wish that perhaps uh, there'd be an axe one for one of the, the characters. I'm going to switch into my plate vest here because that's much more kind of Templar-y. The jerkin I was wearing gives me evasion. Which is not something I'm going to be putting much uh, effort into. And as you can see, ice critical hits freeze them, which is good. Which is why I went with the ice skill rather than the shock one. I don't use shock all that much in general. But if I find an enchanted hatchet, I'll probably just switch to that and <laughs> I don't know maybe take cleave from the stash. I'm sure you guys won't mind. I want axes. So what if it's a little cheaty? Oh yeah, these guys resist cold. And as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of missing a lot of these hits. My accuracy is not the best. But my act. Oh, that's another dexterity thing. Accuracy. That's another. It's not just speed, it's also accuracy. 
that the dexterity classes have easier access to. Oh, oh, fire. 